Here are the materials you'll need. A putting green surface, fake AstroTurf basically. I got mine at Home Depot for 66 cents a square foot. That's the major cost of the purchase. And then for the whole area, two little two foot by two foot squares, some tape, Reinforce the joints. You can use some plastic on the other side to protect the surface backing. And then the borders here and on the other sides is <laughs> right here. Three quarter inch tubing has the seam on it like this. Some sort of four and a half inch circle. This happens to be a Lego cup that works perfectly to mark the circles. Couple markers. Cutting tool. This worked great. Two carpet tapes. These were one and a 1.41 inches by 42 feet. You use two rolls, or pretty much one roll with and half of another one. Two clamps. This is a plastic cover from a nut container. It's slightly bigger than four and a half inches, and I used it in the cup over here. So here we go. Lessons learned. Originally, I was going to use this carpet protector. I thought it would stick. To this the back of the AstroTurf but <coughs> not a lot of success so I ended up laying down carpeting tape which you'll see again right here and that really is sticky and I think that's gonna help out a lot the reason why I'm doing that is because I've had AstroTurf in the past and this backing right here has a tendency to wear after a while and break off and crumble and leave kind of a white dust trail. So that's why I'm using that. And I took this, it just happens to be a Lego cover, which is absolutely perfect because I could hold it and mark at the same time the holes. The holes are regulation, four and a quarter. And I cut them out with an X-Acto knife. And then I cut through, <laughs> So there you go. I'll show it on the other side. So there's the holes on there. Here you saw it on the other end. I've cut that out. I made I put some little lines down. So I made sure that the putting green lines with the hole and then that way you put it back down in there. And you actually here you can see that one and this one. And then carpet tape around four sides to keep it down. Carpet tape here and I actually marked where this went <coughs> so that I have a good fit and it'll be flush. The carpet tape I think is going to work really good on that smooth surface and this given the success I had with the plastic on the other side. I cut both the mat and the AstroTurf with this cutter and that worked really well, or I'm pretty pleased with it. And then I used this regular packing tape, you could use any kind of tape, to kind of reinforce the seams on both sides. I used clamps to put it down in place, um, because I, this whole thing, I wanted to make sure the tape was on there. So I put, as you remember, I had the tape all the way around, and then I sandwiched it down, walked around on it to make sure that it's tight. And there's the other clamp. Also, kind of a neat little thing is somebody was throwing away a table because the frame was bent, so I just took the frame off, and now I use this as a really nice big cutting surface. I've decided I'm going to put another strip of this carpeting tape to make sure that that stays in place, because I'm going to roll this up <laughs> when I want to get it out of the way. And there you go. Next step, the flip. Now you could stop here and you'd have a very nice putting green. But for a couple extra dollars, literally, 
I think it's a buck, less than a buck fifty for six feet. You can add some bumpers in with the boys. Keeps us from chasing golf balls. And you can see here, this is where we had the other holes made. And you just get those, put those back in there and they easily come in and alternate holes or what have you. So here it is with the foam installed. I think it really makes a difference. And it keeps this fraying edge from happening. You protect from that. And it, it stabilizes it so it doesn't curl. And it, I've just got it on there with, with a pressure fit. It has a natural seam that you can run your finger down and, and open it up. But you got to be not too aggressive because like here I kind of ripped it off the seam a little bit. Is we've used these mats to change the contour of the hole, making it a little more challenging with a semi-pro putter. There you go. Putting green complete. Now all you have to do is get it in the hole. <laughs> no guarantees of that. <laughs> We'll do this flag in another build.